Hey guys, welcome to the micro lecture on aspirin. Now in this session, we're gonna talk about the use of aspirin when treating an acute coronary syndrome. So let's just remind ourselves: an acute coronary syndrome is made up of three conditions of the heart. Number one, an ST segment elevation myocardial infarction. Number two, a non-ST segment eleva elevation myocardial infarction. Number three, unstable angina. Now in all of those conditions, there's an element of ischemia in other words, lack of oxygen to the heart muscle caused by what's called atheromatous plaques. Now, living your life, you, 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 live, you, you gain a level of um, lipoproteins that build up in your coronary arteries. Your coronary arteries are the arteries that serve into the heart. Now, um, fats build up into, in the coronary arteries and eventually, if, the, if there's enough of this this fatty plaque known as atheroma, it will rupture and cause an occlusion of a coronary artery which causes a myocardial infarction. Now, aspirin is what we know as, know as an antiplatelet drug. When you get this, this buildup, you tend to end up with um, platelets and fibrin and a whole range of other, other substances that clog, clog the coronary arteries. Aspirin is used as a drug to provide antiplatelet, not only to stop any further platelets from aggravating and getting into that area where there's a current block, but also to try and reduce the amount of platelets that are currently in that area. The idea is that if aspirin is able to do that and pulls um, platelets away from the site of the blockage, then you're less likely to, you're more likely to have flow of blood go back into that circulation and therefore reduce the effects of a myocardial infarction. Now, when the tutor asks you, what is the purpose of aspirin? Your answer is dead simple. It's an antiplatelet and it reduces the aggra aggra accumulation of platelets at the site of the blockage in the coronary arteries. Now, aspirin is given as in a tablet form of 300 milligrams and ideally, and not every ambulance service guideline reflects this, you do not want the patient to swallow it because it takes much longer to take effect. You want the patient to crunch the aspirin and rub it around inside the buccal mucosa, inside the mouth, because it, you end up with more bioavailability. In other words, more of it is available to do the job. You end up with a faster absorption rate. Now, let's just talk a little bit about some of the side effects of aspirin. Something you keep hearing time and time again is if the patient's on anticoagulation therapy. Now, some of the ambulance service guidelines have moved this from a contraindication and put it into the cautions. A contraindication is when you absolutely would not give a drug, whereas a caution is, means you've got to be careful and you've got to rule out some things. Now, when patients have anticoagulation therapy, they all have this thing called a, um, uh, it's basically a personal test that's done just for them. International Normalized Ratio, an INR. And if you give aspirin, it messes up the INR. So aspirin is used to, in the treatment of ACS. You ideally want to, them to patient to crunch it and, and rub it around their, um, their buccal mucosa rather than swallowing it. It's an antiplatelet drug. And of course, with any drug, you have to go through the systems of the safety system checks with five, five Rs, if that's what you're using at the time. Um, and of course, check the guidelines for your indications and contraindications. So that's a snapshot of aspirin. I hope you found it useful. My name is Sam Willis, and I look forward to talking to you again shortly. Thanks, guys.